No, don't find this. this you is... will never be a Sith. The most powerful Sith ever just has an awful list. <laughs> <laughs> you will feel the power of the fight. You just sound like, like Pinky in the brain. <laughs> Last time on the Strona. After arriving in Helmforth and finding Henrietta Whitethorn speaking to the Tanner after exploring the town for a bit and getting a guide. <laughs> you ended up watering a good portion of the litter that she had brought. Even if they had seemed hungry and Teroth asking one of where they've come from, and that they were seemingly hungry is the most he got from it. They piled on very quickly and exhausted the group very heavily, in which, after the Horn of Ahala was blown, and the, <coughs> excuse me, the Berserkers had managed to stem the tide in your favor much more easily. Milleron had been charmed by Henrietta. In the middle of it, attempted to exact out orders by Henrietta, and Bradamir managed to stop her. To which, after this, Millerin quickly retreated from the town of Helmfirth, after many of the wolves had been slain and they all lay dead in the snow. Everyone realized that Millerin was still missing. After chasing her down, for a brief time, and then realizing she's starting to get further away, realized that Raxiel was in the distance. Telroth took one, oh, two very skilled shots at a distance before finally Millerin passed out from the extreme shock, trauma, and blood loss of these massive lightning arrows striking her through her core, splashing blood over the back of Raxiel. But she immediately brought her back practically on the brink of death it was healed back to the living <laughs> after dealing with these matters and taking a moment to rest up and inform the town that the tanner and his wife were speaking with Henrietta they immediately arrested her received word of some of the giants further up, uh, further up north, the Ice Glade, and the ones that have been sworn to the Black Spires, on an informative word from one of the mayor ships, Gator, <laughs> he, he had told you about the Frost Giants being more amiable out in the eastern sections, out in the open plains, a few trees here and there sparsed around. After requesting to speak with the Jarl Levis, the two Frost Giants seem to question whether or not they should allow you in, but they finally gave way in the conversation fairly easily and led you into the massive meat hall that these giants have been living, in, living near. As you <laughs> entered into the, the meat hall, you could see the white dragon skins, hides, scales, and bone littering the hall. Various drinks about some looking or some of the other frost giants looking up at you. Just kinda some curiosity but mostly disdain just being smaller creatures. You can easily assume that you are fairly pathetic in their eyes just because you're small. How dare. <laughs> we definitely should have brought those cloud giants heads with us. After <laughs> they're all over the park, you haven't ignored the houses outside. <laughs> after, Why not? I was just muting. <laughs> after being brought up to the Jarl of this as he sits on his white dragon skull throne, look down at you and between his massive form and the many trophies that are braided into his beard and his armor. You can see that this man has definitely seen 
a great deal of battle, and even for the amount that he seems weathered, he definitely seems <coughs> combat and capable and very able. It's, it's easily tell he's been looking over this troop and village for a very long time. Especially on the curiosity and the aspect of that they seem to show no respect towards the other clans that seemingly have sworn loyalty to the Whitethorn family. <coughs> At this point now, we return to the uh, return to you before the Jarl once a group and some of the other giants listening as he leans forward in his throne to look down upon you all even he himself as a frost giant is surprisingly tall as well as the massive greatsword he has mixtures of metal ice and bone I had the town council member's name like in my head earlier. I'm trying. It was fucking like frog gator. Wait, gator. That's what it, it was. It was some swamp dwelling creature. <laughs> there we go. And the other one was like frog frosty. Toad. Frosty? What? Because they were like. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that. Okay. Yeah. Breezy. <laughs> yeah, that fucking sick ass hair. He looked like. Uh, Mountain climbers. Ice climbers? Maybe? Ice climbers, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, as he looks down over all of you, uh, Iron Stride, you can hear C12 in your head, like, I'm ready to activate. <laughs> Be ready just in case. <laughs> As he looks down upon all of you. What business brings you to these halls? Is he speaking in giant? Mm hmm? <clears throat> we come to offer our assistance in a matter that you might be interested in solving. interests do I have with the small? Well, I've heard from the town councilman that you were, well, Gator, that you were having trouble with the Empire clan. <laughs> they stay their own hand so long as we stay on the coasts here. I'm, trying, I'm just remembering everything he said. Okay. They might be upset because they turned a bunch of giants into one. Oh well, yeah, that too. I mean, isn't the other clan the ones responsible for that, though? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess to be fair, I don't really think either side of the giants would be like, Yes, please, let's open up my family crypts, raise my grandfather <laughs> from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so in favor of this. <laughs> Sounds sick. Dad, is that you? Uh, uh, it's just like him. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> <laughs> they raise your dead, do they not? They raise the dead that have been foolish enough to be killed. We've buried our respected. Are you not interested in seeing them gone in any respect? I would love to be rid of the White Thorns, but their spires have been there for generations. Why should I believe someone smaller than myself, which I see no tribute or respect? Should I ever believe that you'd have the ability to get rid of 
a foe so old. Wow, she's really bringing on anything from our skull collection. Did we? Um, hmm. Are we supposed to bring something? It was not. I mean, yeah, probably would have think the creator to tell us. <clears throat> We've killed a lot of big things before. We're, um, despite our size, uh, we're capable of quite a bit. I'm supposed to just take your word. Start a fight with other clans. Supposed to just take our word? I mean, I was mostly just interested in intelligence, if you could give us any. Hey, hey, Delroth. Yes? Usually in uh, cases like this, you uh, ask them what you can do to prove yourself. Ah, oh, good idea, good idea. If All I right, then. proof of strength, perhaps a trial by combat. Yeah, I straight on wrestled. Do you believe, then, that you need just to prove ourselves? Do you seek any information from us? Yes. I do not give out the, the matters a hand that we need to deal with personally. Okay then, um, do you have anything in particular in mind? Looking at your smaller, uh, frail looking size. I think you against one of my warriors would suffice. Iron strategy, you get that? I understood. I mean, if he's down, I'm not gonna stop him. Are you, are you actually going to arm wrestle? I don't think it's considered an arm wrestle when he just wants to fight. Okay. I don't think they could arm wrestle, judging by the difference in size. <laughs> yeah. Also, did he mean all of us versus one, or just Iron Stride versus one? One of you I'm... versus one. Yeah, that's why yeah, I was doing Iron Stride. <laughs> All right then. Um, sure. Uh, Iron Strad, you'll be all right with that. I am fine with this. Okay. Um, Iron Strad here volunteers. Uh, all right, Iron Strad, go get him. Prove, prove to them that we're not to be messed with. I give you inspiration. I mean, we're allowed to buff the shit out of him because we're showing him what we can. <laughs> like, if we don't buff the shit out of him, then he's gonna be like a... Like, it's not yep. a true show of our strength. You're powered up, get in there. <laughs> Alright. You need well, to enlarge. I would ask the giant, can you understand what I speak? Just, you know... He doesn't say anything, but he nods. Then what would you say the rules for the this belt are? You and me, weapons only. Very well then. So no magic, I guess. No magic. That's right, I did that suddenly. My inspiration's invisible. You're yeah, just I'm just firing him with your words. Word. Again, buddy? <laughs> He's just fighting like one of the frost giants, right? He isn't fighting the guy who's twenty feet tall. Uh, I mean, there was frost giants are twenty. Feet tall. Feet. This is oh, they all are four feet tall. Do you mean Sakras? Sakras. Yeah, Levis. Le Le this was the god captain. Right. <laughs> my much. Average roll. But dude, if Levis is twenty feet tall, he's definitely suspicious. <laughs> Maybe Levis is suspicious because he's secretly. 
A giant war chief. <laughs> He's a shrunken <laughs> down war chief. To where he can drink more. like seven kegs of ale on his own. That's why he you can know, drink so much. If we're going to make a spectacle of it, we should make it proper. Hey, watch the magic. <laughs> watch the magic. <laughs> You're gonna get arrested by one of these giants. Yeah. I wanna turn the area into a coliseum. <laughs> We're in the middle of their bar. The in the meat hall. It will only look like a coliseum. Alright, so you're just gonna cast the illusion of the coliseum. Maybe let them know you're doing that before they beat the shit out of you. <laughs> They also might argue that Gabe Irons tried an advantage. Yeah, his favorite train is Colosseums. <laughs> <laughs> no, his favorite train is Illusory Colosseums. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My favorite terrain is Giant Blood. That's fine, I won't do it. Only because it's kind of <laughs> difficult. <laughs> you like slide around on Giant Blood like you're on a skate, like you're on a wakeboard. Alright, Ironstride, you're up. You can see the Frost Giant's already hefting his axe and getting ready to combat you. Okay. If he's ready, I give a nod. And... I begin my assault by running up. And I jump a full ten feet up to slug him! In the dick. <laughs> In the dick. <laughs> oh god. Uh, that will be oh, that's cool. better. Uh, there you go. Do you want to use inspiration for this? Did you give me inspiration? I did. Mm. Oh, can I? Can I? Is that fine? It, it has several uh, uses, so yes, I don't know if you want to use it just is for it an a attack. One, is it a one d eight or what? Or one d ten? D ten. D ten. Hit. Definitely hits so on fifteen. Smack. Dig. Oh, oh my god! I nearly <laughs> rolled max damage on that. You're ready oh. to kill giants. <laughs> I'm ready, and uh, you know what? We, we're going all out to show them how we are, so action search. And smack again. I'll hit. And smack. That one will miss. <laughs> That's fine. And as my bonus action, throw the uh, <laughs> my great sword up at him. <laughs> hit! I'll definitely hit. This poor man. <laughs> 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 Alrighty. So as you just wail on him, you can actually see a great amount of approval from Socrates. Giants. Oh fuck. Just oh shit. So that he'll try and main t maintain some honor. Goes all out on you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he will with a crit and a 27. Okay. So, the first one that fucking smashes square into the center of you before the other one just winds right back around. The first one, oh my god, does 46 slashing damage. Is that, is that, is that without it being turned into a crit because that a man team? Uh, oh, so that's right. I keep forgetting your plate. It's been a while. Uh, so thirty-two. <laughs> so thirty-two slashing damage, and then twenty-four from the second blow. Bam! Damn, Damn dude. Nice. And with that, you, all of you guys, just fucking see like all the giants like shocked before he. This other one clearly probably been with the Jarl for a long time, just perfectly slammed the axe straight into Iron Strut's chest, actually leaving this huge dent in his armor, and then just following around and just slamming right across his leg. It's your turn, Strut. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna retaliate by fucking buckling his knee out if I can. Let's see how this goes. Poof! <laughs> Definitely hit. Slam. Quickly trying to 
jump up and jab him in the face! Boosh! So, even if, even in this brief wall, <laughs> you just see Iron Stride, even after getting hit by that devastating axe swing, quickly just <clears throat> to the side of the knee and just uppercut him straight in the chin as he comes down and then just <clears throat> out cold on the floor. Hey! Holy shit! <laughs> you killed him, man! Killed him in two times. He's just. He's just down. He did dump good. action, Sir John, with some really good <laughs> rolls. I mean, it's that, but. So just on a side note for what that boy hit you with, Archdread, thank god you have animating yeah. plates. Right? The first attack would have been 56 with a 24 stacked on top of that. Uh, that, that could easily knock out Miller and not practically knock out well, bring everyone very close to fucking knockout status. Yeah, me too. That would get me. I I would still be awake, but only by like six hit points. So this, this whole fight lasted for about twelve seconds, and it was just me pummeling the shit out of this poor man. So after that, you know what? I'm glad I didn't make the arena because that would have been a grand fucking waste. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> what a disappointment! After the giant has gone down, I turn around. Have we proven our worth? He nods. Someone else hit him! <laughs> what? <laughs> you say this. Meanwhile, <laughs> there's these big fucking gashes and sparks kind of coming out certain sections of Iron Strap. <laughs> Even though it was adamantine, it went fucking straight through that plate on the first blow. But uh, Socrus just claps at the hands. Impressive. I can see why they sent you over here. He slowly stands up out of respect. And actually starts to walk down close to all of you. So what is it on the information that you require? Mm. At this point you can see some of the other frost giants are like helping this one again <laughs> over to like a bench and then like setting him down. <laughs> hmm. They desecrate the bodies of your fallen, and they will continue to grow in power until they overwhelm you. Will you strike with them now, with us, or will you wait until they eventually overwhelm and take everyone for their army of the dead? If you know what I am, then you know that I do not come here lightly looking for friends here. I heard stories from my mother never seen your kind in person before. I see why they feared you. We can distract the other clan. But there is a great pet of the vampires that will be unleashed if we attack them. Bigger than me and my people. We've attempted Holy to shit. fight. We have attempted to fight it before and lost too many. What manner of animal is it? It's a great ice worm. Tunnels in the ice below. I thought you meant Worm Dragon, and I got excited. <laughs> if you're able to drive it off, we can attack the other clan. They are weak without the aid of those 
miscreants that live in the black spires. Do you know if this creature has any weaknesses? Unfortunately not. But it is still a beast. It is not smart. It is just Then it will be possible to bait and lure it. Exactly. You keep that away from my people while we attack those who have sworn themselves to the White Thorns. We will give you all the space you need to be able to pursue them. And we'll even follow up once we are finished with their clan. Very well then. This sounds like mutually beneficial terms. When do you intend to strike? The earliest convenience of my comrades. I think we need to find the worm first, Einstein. It will come. That easily. Fucking rest first. I, I think we have on the mind. The vampires protect their clan. The beasts eat them. You get rid of the worm. Or drive it off, at least. We can give you your aid in attacking their keep. You know, I just buy that giant bag of firebombs. Maybe we can just make it eat the bag of firebombs and it'll just explode. It is possible. How would we make it eat the bag? We cover it in meat. We make you carry bread. <laughs> just be sure to land on one foot. Um, uh, how does two days sound then I will gather my forces in two days we will start making our way out let's turn the temperature is too cold for our ship I pop <sighs> Thanks for letting us keep it busy. Alright then, um, I guess we will, uh, see you then. Do not disappoint us. We aren't in the habit of doing that. Madam, are you gonna, are you gonna patch up Iron Stride? He's sparking. Yes, I am! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, yes, let me just fix him right now! I suppose. Yeah! I mean, I'm only asking because I have spell slots I can use if you don't want to use any of yours. Well, what are we doing after this? I think he really needs to go to sleep. Yeah, I think we're going back to town to strategize. I was about to say, like, you got two days to rest. In. Yeah, or just rest and then there's no meter, right? Rest and prepare. Alright, well, rest and once we get outside, I'll, I'll drop the uh, third level healing spirit meme gate. Alright. I'll run through it as many times. Just stepping in and out of it. Put your left foot in and put that foot out. Right foot in and check it all the way. Go frost there chains. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you just run around in a circle like a beheaded dog. <laughs> you get 50 health back. I guess beheaded chicken would probably be more accurate. I don't really think that a beheaded dog would do that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get crit right off the bat. Uh, but I'm also sure that giant definitely wasn't expecting to get his fucking block knocked in. 
Well, we could probably actually ask the town council about the giant worm. Maybe they know something about it. Alright. Because I'm thinking my plan of feeding it a giant pile of firebombs is a pretty good plan. Yeah. How much else we can do? I mean, other than bait it up to the surface and just shoot it with the ship's ballista, that's another decent option. If we can get the ship there without it being fucked up by giant strong. Well, I mean, that's what I was presupposing. I was baiting it towards an area where we could get the ship in on the action. Yeah, we could set up some defenses like we did on the beat. Just, like, take some of our ballistas there. If, if the ship can't get there. The could, it would be dangerous to bring the ship there, because if they break that, that's not very replaceable. The ship yeah, could. Stay Sorry. out of range. I should be able to signal one of the Warforged. <laughs> you wirelessly tell them, alright, light him up. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know if I told anyone else that I can speak to them with uh, C-12, so... Nope. They like, wirelessly. Yes, I can communicate with them. What's your Wi-Fi reception like up here? <laughs> Currently I have one bar. <laughs> Terrible. Optus is not good. <laughs> Yeah, you still you still with War Force Mobile? I'm on 3G. <laughs> Personally, I switched to Bird Eisen. Very good network. <laughs> Dodo internet that flies. <laughs> we we could also try to get Stratosphere to whip up some of that super fucking fuel shit. Oh, right, just like me and I was trying this giant cannon yeah. Shit again. Yeah, pretty much. Do that, but even bigger. Yeah. And we, like, aim it and run away this time. Yeah, but we don't have a spare cannon for that. Maybe we might be able to make one out of metal. Yeah, we bought a shit ton of metal. I see it really make... Cage. It only has to fire a Wonka cannon. I mean... Yes. Yeah, what? You want a cannon? I can make a cannon. Hell yeah. We bought like 12 spare iron bars when we got Miski's adamantium, so we can just make a giant cannon barrel. <laughs> Fill it with a shit ton of the crystals and just like have a really long rope to yank the cannonball into the back. No, no, you set it with a fuse, and then that way we have time to get the fuck away from it. And we just run as fast as we can. In fact, I'd probably like it to go into run. I mean, lo yeah, last time I was the one, like, holding the cannon up, aiming it. And you nearly died. Yeah, and almost one shot you. I was aiming and you were holding it, we both nearly died. It was a team effort. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta save, suicide. I didn't. <laughs> right, so. And I failed the save. Uh, you are <laughs> definitely able to, uh, get back to Humphrey. Hear a little bit of commotion going on, but... It's more or less people just kind of trying to keep other citizens away from the Tanner's house so they don't just go raiding it. And you can see that it's currently still under investigation for the time being. Or oh, is it like the kind of thing where like they're really like pissed off and they just really want to stick it to them? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because, like, I mean, I don't really think of a small community like this that have, like, a bunch of dickhead looters. No, they're just pissed off. It's like, you're collaborating with the vampires, you piece of shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so... Current plans are... Giant cannon. A giant firebomb. Um, we just harass it while the giants kill each other. Or final plan is question mark up to anybody else. If we can't use a cannon because it might be hard to aim it without being close, we could just try to set up a bunch of fuel or that bomb thing like once and try to lure it towards it. I mean, hmm. so you see, there's my idea that me and Iron start doing the cannon thing. We just shot a normal cannonball and it went straight through a, you know, large ship. What if we just made a really big bomb out of it instead? Because obviously we can't aim a cannon in the snow. We need to set up a lot of materials and it'd be very dependent on us lining the warm up perfectly. 
which might not ever happen. Yeah. Even assuming we get the thing to surface, we might not be able to hit a vital enough portion of it. I mean, the ideal condition would be it basically coming right towards us on the surface as the cannon fires directly down its mouth. But a creature of that size, we might not be able to kill it. We just want to hit, but with a bomb, we might shred it in half. Yeah, so I'm saying, like, you could just leave the bomb there and bait it towards it. Less aiming on our part. You could put, like, a rune on it that'll trigger when there's a frostworm next to it. Do, can we do that? I think Miller can do something like that. And we could do something that specific that would make this an incredibly easy maneuver. I mean, yeah, I can make traps uh, in that manner. I well, then, yeah, really need materials. I could make one that just explodes. So we just do that, but we attach it to a really big bomb that we then bait the worm towards. It sounds actually pretty easy. Mm, I'm gonna need something to bait it with. Because it's gonna think we look pretty juicy. Well, if we get a big pile of food, that was a good first idea. Oh, hmm. Give me uh, 400 gold worth of diamonds and I could set up a quite a big magical bomb without, a, without really needing anything else. I'm currently carrying about two grand worth of diamond. <laughs> Fabulous! Did you say shrapnel ball? Diamond! Oh my god! Do like you like shrapnel damage? If we need baits, uh, me and Smitherin can teleport. Yeah, but you see, what if, what if it can change directions fast and if it just goes after you right after you teleport? something to consider, yes? It is not an intelligent creature. It may be confused for a moment. Yeah, just, you know, I'm, I'm worried about blast radiuses, considering the size of the thing we're probably going to be making, because we want to cut it in half. Hmm. Well, I guess let's go, let's go talk to uh, Stratosphere. Let's see what he has. Where do we where do we want to set up this trap? It'll need to be in an open field, somewhere where we cannot cause casualties to anyone else. And it would have to be pretty we, close to the giant's cannon. Well, we have the portable. Two hole. days, I could set up uh, uh, a very big bomb, and all I'll need is diamonds. How big are we talking? Here, you can make a bomb out of diamonds. Uh, I'm talking uh, as if I set off six fireballs all at once. Hmm. That sounds pretty good. I mean, hmm. so this plan is going to hinge mostly on the captain's choice, I suppose, because. I guess, I mean, injuring it enough so that it withdraws is probably also applicable here. If we can injure it enough, the giants will be able to finish it off once they're finished. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's up to you, Captain. I mean, I'm totally fine to set up these traps, but... Uh, I mean, I'm going to be pretty spent after that, so... I'm going to be relying on you guys to actually lure it into the damn thing. That's what we're here for, right? Monster food. I am considerably tough to chew. You're probably full of essential vitamins. Got a lot of iron. Huh. I may speak with Notlook to see if he can improve my... Gauntlets in any way. 
I was just thinking of a way to kill worms. <laughs> Came to me in a dream. <laughs> Came to me in a dream. <laughs> So we're just going to go with the captain's bomb plan because I don't really think we can make a bomb case in two days without the captain anyways, so if the magic trap is easier to make, it's probably better than not waste our uh, elemental chips on something that doesn't really need to be used. That's fair. Sounds good. So, <clears throat> obviously, you'll get the uh, two days rest and set up. You can actually see the giants themselves starting to gather. You know, they're all heading, tw obviously, towards the meat hall that they have over in their encampment. Alright. Uh, Tabarath, go ahead and make me a nature and a perception. Nature and a perception. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I see everything, <laughs> but I decide the ice is water. <laughs> so. <laughs> Kind of looking at it, you know, you don't think that the the ice lake would be too much of an idea, uh, ideal spot, even though it, there's a much more better open field. You can see there, uh, you wouldn't be able to see down, but it seems more ideal, especially in a more open area, to be able to set up this trap so it would be more focused there. <sighs> And uh, Iron Shred, you were, uh, what were you going to ask Notluff for? I was going to ask Notluff if he can fine tune or do anything with my gauntlets, or if he has any ideas that he could work on in the two days. So, I had to go AFK for a couple of minutes. Are we also going to try bring, like, a, a ballista down there as well to set up? My help. Mean? I don't want to be the one that has to reload the ballista, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I mean, we could have, like, a couple metal boys on it, very far away. I would feel very bad about that, considering the worm could be like, Oh, something shot me from over there, excuse me. <laughs> True. And it turns into, like, some shit from, like, the Dune series, where the giant worm envelops the person. And just but off. we'd feel less bad than having a bunch of drow over there manning the ballista. Well, that's racist, man. You don't feel bad about robots dying? <laughs> I feel a lot worse about the robots, robots dying than the drow. Are more likely also, Talarath is basically a ballista now with his new lightning fucking <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm Hawkeye Goth. Literally. <laughs> and, uh, for your question, I'm gonna try to, uh, no. I've been busy working on uh, getting these two fully active, and you can see both of them look like they're actually starting to get a little bit more life in them, the two that he's been working on. You, know, you can actually start seeing some motor functions returning to them. Uh, other than that, uh, I'd be more than happy to work on some of those if I can, but... Uh, got a lot of projects here as he like points out like the various warforged and all the other plans that he's had for you and with a mixture between Millerin's enhancements and such. Mm. If nothing is possible it is fine. There is no need to rush. I'll work on it when I can. But, uh, you know, more of the, uh, the good old lads the more space I'll have, and he kind of like pats one of them on the shoulder. They look like they are coming along well. You've done very good. They're waking up, they're waking up. Uh, and he does a little snap just to see if like they g he gets their attention. 
It takes about like five seconds before it finally looks in the direction of where the snap was. <laughs> it's better than not moving at all. This is true. <laughs> Plot twist. His parents. But, uh, as you do go to, uh, Stratosphere, he, uh, he looks a bit nervous on the aspect of uh, what you asked about, and even with Millerin kind of working on the bomb and everything. Do you still follow up on the plan, or just gonna go with the, uh, you know, bullish day, or just let Millerin do her full bomb. Well, like I said before, we only have two days to make a bomb, and the captain's ability to fabricate large containers would probably be the only real way we'd be able to complete a large-scale bomb, considering none of us bought uh, fragmentation casings. So, I mean, I feel like that planet's pretty much dead in the water. What about... The captain's idea's probably slightly better. Right. about the crazy guy? He might have some more explosive shit. Crazy guy? What? Crazy guy that sold you all the alchemy stuff. Tormund. That 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 was, that was like two weeks away, wasn't it? Like sleep on. I mean, to no, be no. fair, my ability to create oh, like the guy in the... to yeah. to create things is uh, a little separate to my actual magical ability. Even if even completely spent on my spells, I can still manage to uh, to create something once a day. All right. If you really need something made, I mean, I can only spend three hours a day working on my bomb. Seems like a lot of hours. Yes, well, it's going to be a very big bomb. So do we want a backup one? Nah. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we can handle it. Thanks. I mean... The, different, the, the main difference there comes from my bomb uh, is more of a missile. What's a it missile? won't be stationary as, <laughs> as long as the target comes within like a certain range, it'll hit. Tactical you don't have to get it directly onto the bomb. I guess, yeah, that's probably slightly better than uh, the plant involving us uh, trying to get it to eat a bomb. Just a very small window for error. <sighs> but yeah, I found a nice location for us to fight it in. Couldn't really see any sign of a worm. That's a one that I think you need. Seeing so as Nolif couldn't, uh, was unable to do anything, I could spend my time either with my research notes or making more potions. That's true. So, which would you prefer to do? I think I'd try to, try to go through my research notes to see if I can finally nail down the last of my, uh, of what I need to learn. Here two days finishing that out, and uh, you'll actually find there's a couple recipes in there for the uh, greater alchemist fire. Uh, one that looks to be a slight alteration for dragon's breath. Ooh. As well as what appears to be potions of water breathing. <laughs> Useful for someone that is not our Obviously, olden days traveling by sea. Oh, yeah. Very helpful back then.
I don't like that. Mm -hmm. uh, since I don't really have anything to do getting the plan together, I'm just gonna help people out in town, like more Grax and his wife, and I chop some wooden shit. Just do whatever needs to. Alright. Uh, <laughs> when you do oh. attempt to go and help out Morgrax and his wife, you do see uh, Torwent, uh, their daughter, you know, kind of handing back out, seemingly heading out with a small, what seems to be kind of venturing party towards the forests. As you attempt to help, Pe uh, Pema is uh, just kind of looks like, I don't need your help. Baka. Uh, I've got nothing to do for two days. To be sure. I'm sure that the township can use your help more than we can. All right. You can tell even even after the displays that you guys have done, she's still not very happy with the Morgrax. <laughs> very likely having to still. <laughs> <laughs> no one needs my help and I go home and make Hollywood. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. It's just Valus crying. Just <laughs> yeah. straight up told off by the Goliath mother. Single. Um. I mean, it literally just costs silver to make Hollywood. Yes, silver powder. I can just exchange the gold worth. Alright. So Radomir is gonna go find ecstasy. Alrighty. Uh, oh. You'll actually see, uh, see her initially uh, talking to the woman who walked out of the town hall when. Uh, Obviously, he was probably talking to Gator and Breezy. Before she uh, sees you, and you can you can actually see uh, Ecstasy kind of look over and wave. Before, you know, kind of like hurriedly uh, saying goodbye and then heading off towards the guards, uh, um, the guards' barracks. Hi. Ecstasy will uh, very happily greet you. Well, coming back down to the tavern. Yep, I've got some time to kill. Wanna sing another duet? I'd love to. Have you uh, have you seen the uh, younger Goliath lady, Torment? I'm sure she probably headed back out to do some more hunting. Polar bears are our favorite. For hunting? Of course. Oh, warm, never. Warm pelts, good challenge. Ah, of course. And obviously, as you enter and you can see it's a busy morning. It seems to have the usual crowd. But she'll happily pull up a chair and. You can see the uh, bartender has already pouring out a tankard and looks, will look to you like, and for you, sweetie? Sweetie? Who am I? Uh, just a standard, thanks. Right away. I'll pour out the f two tankards and happily float them over to you with Mage Hand. See, That's pretty cool. You see that she's just constantly making like quilts and different kind of jackets and such. <laughs> and then we just small talk and play songs for the tavern huh? occasionally. Uh, so, 
especially in the, the times that you do have off. Uh, you do get get a few questions of obviously where you're from and why you guys are even here. But uh, I lie about where I'm from. <laughs> Damn, he didn't fall. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna leave traces. But um, uh, ecstasy will actually end up uh, talking about the woman she was. Uh, meeting up with towards it, uh, towards the end, saying well, the guards woman. Well, she's more recent. She goes by the name of Josefina. How recent, you say? Uh, probably a month or two now. And you two have gotten along well, I see. Oh yeah, she's uh, she's pretty skilled. I've sparred with her a few times just in practice, you know, keep myself sharp. Pretty what made her? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what made her decide to come to Helmfirth and be a guard? Nary a clue. Said she came Seems here looking for someone. Here. Oh? Yeah. Did she say who? Maybe we can help with that. She said an old friend, but... No. Wouldn't exactly spill the beans. Well, yeah, I think it might be uh, someone of... Yeah, a good fiery relation, if you catch my drift. Ah, uh, maybe... Maybe more of a private thing, I see. But sadly, she hasn't run into him. I hope nothing happened to her ship, but. Either way, it's been nice visiting, visiting with her. Better than the Vis, and she uh, actually points over to the much younger knight in training, Zuri, who's at the bar. Uh, her and, uh, well, and Josephine have been of the only real lively ones here, aside from uh, Tormer, as he, she looks over to him, and you can see that he's got, like, the whole table lined up with just alumbicals and different various mixtures, grinding and pedis, pestle and mortal, mortar and everything, and just making all sorts of weird things, and then there's a point where you actually see him, like, grind a, f a fresh herb and then immediately snort it. Oh, maybe he's just testing. Oh, hello, Valis. I was just coming in here so I could see not shadows. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. As he lays on right. the table, depressed. <laughs> Sits on the table and cries. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I'm probably in here making holy water because it's warm in here. I just want human interaction. I just want someone to love me again. Fellas, don't be a stranger. Pull up a chair, have a drink with us. Let's sit down with them. Got any orange juice? I don't have any orange juice, but how about a good cider? Yeah, I'll take it. Happily send that over to you. It's pretty spicy. It's got a nice bite to it. Fuck it. We'll be at the bar as well. <laughs> Everyone just floats to the bar. as far away from everybody else as possible. <laughs> Don't wrap the nine stripes, bro. Uh, drinking, drinking, drinking. Hell yeah. He has no mouth, though. He must scream. He's got a mouth. Did you just, like, install a mouth? He's got a healing potion hole. <laughs> just, like, face, but, like, retracts. It's just, like, potion goes here. 
<laughs> I am perfectly capable of intaking hoodwinks. But do you gain any benefit from it? No. Okay. Right. I asked tried, uh, what happens if you drink too many liquids? What, does it, what do you do with the excess? Error, error, error. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Let me see, you just turn this knob here. Spray his hot oil on the battles. It's okay, I'm fire resistant. I'm into it, I'm into it. It's okay. It's frost oil. <laughs> frost burn. Alright. Iron Swine is liquid cooled, confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Excess liquid is just steamed out of my body. I start to reach towards the afternoon. Everyone's finishing out what they're doing. Uh, Faithless. Definitely take note of this familiar looking face that comes into the tavern as well. <laughs> kind of. Okay. She does kind of meet eyes with you for a moment. Before tr obviously trying to dismiss it and just head towards the bar. I have no more level 1 spell slots because I've made so much fun. <laughs> Holy man. <laughs> Perfectly timed. <laughs> Wait, I think I can use my class feature. The yeah, Divine Sense. I'm going to cast Divine Sense, which lets me basically cast Detect Undead for free. Or Infernals or day. Fiends or whatever. Yeah. Alright. So. <laughs> As you, uh. detect. uh. detect. In the infernal and fiends and so forth, and other than that. kind of focusing on this. She doesn't read it. So am I right in assuming she looks pretty much exactly like my wife? Exactly like her. Tooth? I'm gonna... Yeah, you all assumed my wife was a tiefling because you're racist. <laughs> I didn't. No. I, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I um, wouldn't totally attack didn't. on her right now with a knife. I'm gonna get up and wait outside until she leaves. And when she leaves, I'm gonna grab her. Think like right. straight up creepy. Just gonna like fucking grab her as soon as she was out. Alrighty. So obviously it'll be a little bit longer. But especially being the late night that it that it is already. Doesn't take too long for some to start filtering out. Tormer eventually passes out while his hair is actually fucking going full technicolor and shifting. Eventually, eventually you start to see the aforementioned Josephina leaving. In which, obviously, Vales, you creeping around the door as it opens up. She doesn't see you. And ends up closing the door and you being immediately behind it. Just go to lunch at her, I assume? Um, that sounds creepy, but sort of. I'm sort of just gonna, like, try to grab her hand and drag her into the air. Definitely not creepy at all. Uh, <laughs> like, over here. Alrighty, so, um... Just go ahead and roll me a quick athletics with advantage. Uh, 
at first she does kind of jump at it as you do ha have her hand she tries to resist her and kind of like looks at you shocked like what what are you doing uh can i ch look and check if she has one of those amulets that the demons had that like disguised them uh what made perception it's kind of iron because obviously the full armor is fairly hard to see through. Perception. Perception is horrible. Or it. She doesn't look like it. She's wearing a necklace, but it doesn't look like the necklace that the demons were wearing. She just looks at you very, very confused. Uh, what level spell is... Ah, level two. Okay, I'm gonna cast Zone of Truth. Like, on her, pretty much. So just to make a saving throw, Charisma saving throw, unfortunately. Zone penetrates through the wall and force Tilrath to Tilrath. <laughs> I mean, it is like 10 feet, but I'm not like right here. Like, I'm like hiding over here. Oh, Alright. Wait, that's Get me. Rad. No. <laughs> I mean, probably. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, like a whole here. surf, like, comes halfway through the wall. I'm just like barely. Yeah, it's better than truth. Oh, God, he actually is in range of it. Thank <laughs> oh, God. I hope I. Uh, she does fail. You know who I am? Oh, at this. She kind of st stays silent, but stares at you just knowing, utmost knowing fashion. How are you alive? Venice, I can't tell you that. You're wor working for Kane? No. No. I'm working for fucking job of the guy. What's his name? White Fang? Is it White Fang? I'm not working for Wolf. I can't. I can't tell you without making more problems. I came to help get back our daughter. We're here for the same reason. If you cause problems, I'll gladly help you deal with them. does take one of her gauntlets off and will actually run her hand across your face and it's warm to the touch Be careful of her. 
what? <laughs> She's actually just gonna go in to kiss your veils. I don't know. Except for the kiss of death. I... I'm probably just gonna stand there looking confused. She can try to kiss me, but I won't like really react. So she'll still she'll still kiss you, but it's in frustration because obviously she could tell that you are just so very, very lost at this moment. <laughs> the other you Can... Can I kill him? What... What needs to be done? You need to kill the other me. And get our daughter far away from you. And... You can't tell me where I can find you after that, can you? You just see tears welling up in her eyes. And she, she just shakes her head. I'm sorry, I can't. Okay. I'll actually, like, embrace her this time. And give her a kiss. Fade to black. as you tightly giving you a deep kiss and feel the joy just well, welling up between both of you at this point she will yeah. actually take out the holy symbol of the church she'll put it in your hand veils Do not worry. I won't be far behind. Especially now that I know you're here. If you don't find me, well, you'll know where you can. But that show. Steal one more kiss and then silently walk off. <sighs> Probably just like slide down on this wall and sit there on the ground for like 20 minutes, very shocked and confused. As you hold the symbol in your hand, this, even the symbol itself is still warm from her body heat. Well, eventually, after about 20 minutes, I'd probably head back to the ship, or if anyone's still in there, I'd see if they're in. Cause it's late at night, right? Yep. So I would imagine the rest are probably still there. Uh, Bradomir and Ecstasy are still finishing out their last encore. <laughs> Roger Bradomir, obviously. Ecstasy will uh, stand up. For... Oh, I may not see you tomorrow. I will be accompanying Torrent. Out into the forest, we'll be searching for some uh, some kind of ancient ruins. Well, that sounds pretty interesting. How long will we be gone for? Uh, two, three days. All right. Well, if we both live through our missions, then I'll see you back here then, eh? Happily. 
Seid ihr? Everyone finishes out the rest of their, their drinks and fails yeah. to keeping yeah. that symbol close to heart. Yeah. I also rolled the persuasion check to make it look like uh, I didn't come in extremely shocked and confused. <laughs> Well, have you know it doesn't beat my passive perception. <laughs> it certainly doesn't beat anyone's. Especially with bread. a lot of people's. Like, uh, I mean, wouldn't it be insight? Yeah, it'll be passive insight or something. I don't know. Yeah, it would be passive insight. I've got 14 on passive insight. Nope. Probably Millie. But does uh, she care? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> No, my passive insight's pretty low. Is it 16? No. Low. Oh. Damn. Well, I, I come back in after being out in the cold for like 40 minutes and nobody suspects a thing. Huh? Wow, you took a really long shit, eh? <laughs> ah, he's back. Yeah, he like for us halfway. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Just have a drink. <laughs> Sit down. Best fucking answer ever. I drink some more cider. Ah, so obviously the rest of the night will be jovial before you return to the ship. Ah, oh, the two days will obviously pass fairly quickly as you finish out your preparations. You can actually see that the frost giants themselves have gathered and are getting ready to set out from here. You can actually see a rather large regiment, a few that look to be actually fairly skilled in the arcane. It's probably mind-blowing as it is to see an actual full wizard's cane and staff for some of them, completely shaped from a tree. Just a whole tree. Mm -hmm. Well, make a tree. The crook on the uh, for the one caster you can see has been wrapped around in what looks like uh, almost like what you would think would be ice, but it's clearly just a rather magnificently sized crystal dead set in the middle of the gnarled crook at the top. Nice. Preparations, obviously, Miller and you get your bum 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 ready. As you are setting up for everything else, Socrus will actually come over before heading up. Office. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you actually meant Sakras. Yeah, it's Sakras. Oh, I thought we were still in town. <laughs> I mean, I think we are, but he's actually coming over because, you know, he wants to double check we're actually doing something today, and he's not going to send all of his giant brothers to just <laughs> get eaten by a war. <laughs> yeah, probably so. <laughs> get pranked. That's right. <laughs> get pranked, bro. <laughs> so, as he, he does. Look over all of you, and obviously you'd be full health, Millie Ren. Uh, <laughs> uh, he did. He does look over your preparations. Do you uh, just bring the bomb or anything else? Just a final preparation. I can't bring it. I was setting it up where we decided we were going to do it. Okay. And we also have a portable hole if you just want to toss it in there. No, it literally cannot be moved. Okay. Ah. So, what the hell kind of bomb are you making? <laughs> the best bomb. 
Okay. So, as Socrates looks at uh, the rest of you, be sure to make plenty of noise for this one. It'll be. Coming. I can do that. Good. He'll be coming swiftly once the clan calls out for the vermin to aid them. May the old fathers look over you. I give him a nod. And that he'll turn and actually adorn rather magnificent white dragon skull helm. Immediately start heading out with the other warriors towards the opposing clan. If this thing needs noise, I can do that with my gauntlets. But I'll have to leave when it gets here. Do Where exactly did you place your bomb? Let me bump you guys over to the battle map. The ugly battle map. Oh, it's so black. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's so black. <laughs> What is this? It's an ice field. It's the kind of place you don't want to be without proper protective clothing, otherwise you will fucking die. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Craggy ice. The kind of shit that you fall into. Too bad I have a climb speed. Just... <laughs> yeah, it's just solid water. It just swim. Where would you place your bomb on this map? Just so I can... For maximum range, in the fucking middle of the area. Alrighty. So how does your bomb work? Well, if if we can get the 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 worm within about a hundred and twenty feet of it. It's going to shoot a whole bunch of fireballs. Oh. Directly at the worm. Directly at the worm. Which is why I said that I don't want anyone to be right next to the worm. Alright. Because I have already prepared the spells, and they cannot be redirected. So don't play fire at the worm. Well, uh, anything that is like a worm, I don't really know the creature well enough to, des to, to designate it directly. So as long as it is large and a worm-like creature. So hope no giant snakes show up, otherwise it, they might get shot too. <laughs> that would be interesting. I don't think a snake could survive if I'm pretty sure they're cold blooded. Well, then we probably don't have to worry about that happening. I smashed them. Alright, so how are we planning on making noise? Are we just gonna scream? Well, remember that my gauntlets emit thunderous noise. Also, Brad's pretty loud. I am not. I mean, you you literally have, like, bagpipes. I was going so to say, that horn still makes horn noises when it's not summoning berserkers, right? That is a fair point right there. You can yeah. just blow the horn and make a make a big noise. I ain't ready my horn. <laughs> as loud as bagpipes are, I don't think they beat lightning thunder shrieks. Have you heard bagpipes in real life? I have. They're pretty ear piercing. Wow. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty loud. So there's lightning next when it happens next to you. I get my fists ready to create the most cacophonous noises. <laughs> The horn. <laughs> Alrighty. So, all of you just start smack. Sm well, I should assume you're obviously probably smacking the ground and clapping your gauntlets and 
Tarath, you are getting to, ready to blow the horn. Yeah, yes. and I'm staying a little bit away from the group just in case uh, me doing exactly what I said I'm doing is going to make the ice underneath me just... <laughs> <laughs> the whole oh, yeah, place yeah. collapses, just... <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do believe uh, Misky would be further. I'm probably up in the air when I'm blowing the horn anyway, so you can just mark me as probably like 60 or 70 feet up. Alright. Because, you know, having, having a good vocal range of noise is probably good. Definitely. Slamming my hands. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, Iron Strike, go ahead and just roll me an attack with damage. Uh, and for everyone else just blowing on horns and instruments, go ahead and roll me a performance. Just Clunk. for maximum effect. Clunk. I'd honestly rather roll a constitution check than a boss to that. Hey, don't birds have like mega lungs? I could, I could see I that. I also go don't ahead. have mega lungs. Uh, well, I, I can still definitely see this, so go ahead and roll your good old constitution. Talarth well, opens his beak at a 90 degree angle and lips come out. Come <laughs> on, It's like the fucking alien mouth. Just yeah. I'm just going to take an attempt at a first level spell slot on the off chance I get Thunder Wave. Alright. Because that'll be loud. Every, nothing else I can do will be loud. It wasn't loud! <laughs> Color spray. <laughs> Rainbow. <laughs> it, yeah, sure. I've got nothing to shoot magic missiles at, so I guess I'll just shoot some colors into the air. Uh... Alrighty. Alrighty. So, as you were making all this noise, it takes a little while. It takes a little while, but you start to feel rumbling. You can actually see some of the ice in the distance lurch. <laughs> you start to see the other pieces in this long distance ice way. You can see that some of the parts that are more jagged and decrepit actually give way and collapse underneath as this massive mound is actually heading straight for your direction. Oh boy. Just in the width of this thing alone, you can see it stretches out a good 35 feet. Gotta get myself in to the air some distance as well. <laughs> Iron Glide. Iron Glide. <laughs> and obviously, I assume you, everyone's keeping a good distance from where you st started making all the noise now. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm trying I'm to, like, at least be in the front. I go up near Telrath. Right, how, many... how many feet are you both in the air? I'm, like, probably, like, 70 to, like, 90 feet. I mean, I just pretty much want a vantage point. And I also want to be outside a fireball blaster. <laughs> yes. Alrighty. So. It's cold here, you know. I don't want to go too high. Following up on where you guys had made all the noise. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to fly up with you guys. Yes. You know what? You I'm, I'm not using gaseous form. Oh. I'm not doing it. It's gonna take you there, right now, quick. <laughs> Better get on the floor. <laughs> Walk the dinosaur. So. Luckily, oh, Fane Death is a target spell, so I'm just going to target nothing and let you fizzle out. I was really hoping for flying, mostly because it would have been funny. Fly, you gas? fly up there in gas form. Yeah, but Gassy's form takes ages to revert. It is true. So as the mound 
passes over. You see, from the ice itself, bursting away, as this massive maw opens wide and just consumes the ice entirely. As it raises up, you can see the body just slowly lurch back as it just go, goes halfway out of the ice. And you can see it's 65 feet tall massive worm lurching around looking for whatever had made the noise especially being cold and looking for a fresh meal I said the bomb goes off oh yes <laughs> alright it's gonna need to make five uh what is it Fireball dexterity? Yep. Yeah, yeah five dexterity saves as it's getting shot by five fireballs. You know, when you say it's just five fireballs, it sounds a lot less overwhelming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Considering how big it is. Yeah, that's like 40 D6. So it's 45, they're all fourth level. You will definitely true through its legendary resistances. No. Oh. So, it'll use all three, so two will be full damage. Cool. Alright. Then we have... For the first lot... R slash 27 D6. These ones are all the ones that get halved. So, half of it. <laughs> and then these are the full damage ones. Very fucking nice. So. <laughs> God. So, as these fireballs just. <laughs> Scorch the whole area. You can actually see parts of the ice field collapsing. And for those around, and in which I need to roll for Misky as well, uh, those who are still on the ground need to make me dexterity saving throws as part of the ice fields are actually now collapsing from the amount of pressure and decimation that just happened. That was a seven. So I'm gonna use my <laughs> ring of evasion to choose to succeed. Oh, shit. <laughs> Magnificent! <laughs> Somebody roll for whiskey. Oh dear. It's a oh, disaster. Dear. It's all gone wrong, bro. Definitely a prank gone wrong right now. Listen to me, we don't have berserkers to feed to it. I'll be back in a moment. Charged on its stomach, Berserker. <laughs> it's on the on inside. You. If you go right. into its face, you'll get back to Valhalla quicker. So, Bredemir will be the only one managing to catch himself as everyone else actually will Ye fall uh, down and actually take. I'm gonna, hmm? I'm gonna use my ring of evasion. Automatically succeed in dexterity saving throw. Very good. As That'll be the second time I've used that ever. A good use. It's coming in handy today. As everyone who does fall down into the pits, being hailed by sharp ice cut into the rot, to the ruts by razor winds, basically effectively being impaled by nature itself. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, child, Go go gadget initiative. Oh god. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Everyone who failed and gets impaled on ice as it shatters and then they finally hit the cr the crev crevasse floor will take Ugh. 27 slashing damage as they are just raked across razor sharp ice. Oh. 
It's is quite it, nice uh, up here, you don't tell Riff. What? It's nice up here. There's no I shattered bet. ice. Uh, screaming There's down a giant below. Uh, like 20 feet below us, so that's a bit of concern. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I'm very high up. Uh, Josh, is it half damage for save or no damage for save? Uh, no damage for save, because it, it's basically for those who fell through. Okay, so I took 27 damage? Yep, I'm slashing. Alright. I need a hero. <laughs> 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 right. for you. Yes. Alrighty. I hadn't rolled any. No. No. Which. You definitely hurt the worm. But it looks really fucking pissed. I mean, yeah. Oh wait, I have a ranger class feature to tell me <laughs> all about it. <laughs> uh, where is it? Beasts uh, recognize you as a kindred spirit. Okay, I don't really think any of that's gonna happen. I don't really think I need to know its emotional state. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I feel well, like it's very obvious what its emotional state is right now, and it hates me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. How far away? How far away is everybody? Uh, so for everyone who fell through the cracks and in, into the ravines, uh, fell 15 feet. So there would be another 15 feet below from where you flew up. So you're at the 80 foot, 90 foot, uh, 95, and then yeah, 90 foot column. I probably would have went up a little bit as it started coming up. He's like, oh shit, it's getting higher. Higher. <laughs> Concerned. So it would be a fundamental waste for me to try to go down and grab them right now because I wouldn't be able to go up with them. So I will descend slightly in a triangular fashion. Go down probably around 20 feet. Then uh, I guess let's shoot the worm, you know? Really, let's, let's show up his boss. Uh, it's all Hunter's Market, you know. He's only level once. <laughs> Probably doesn't nice. hit. I mean, Definitely you not. Know. As you fire and it slams into its tough and high, you tell that it's been through many battles and it will take a great deal to get through. It's very rubbery but tough and old. Oh, scary. dude. Bruh. I don't know where to shoot it. <laughs> It's a mouth. It's a mouth. Shoot it in the worm part. They're fighting a fucking pool noodle. He yeah, actually is. Fighting a pool noodle. All right, I end my pathetic turn. All right, with that a legendary action. And since Billy Rin is actually the only one close enough, you see the mouth kind of like lurch down. I have a question. Yes. What kind of action would it take for me to, sh to just to shout out something? A uh, free action. As the mouth is coming down at you. Alright. Well, as it's coming down at me, I just want to shout out, Oh shit! I, t I don't know! Transform! <laughs> question? <laughs> yes. I have the hulking crab. Do I have huge giant crab? Huge giant crab? Bigger crab. It has like more health but lower AC. Uh, I see. I would say you would. And it's actually the same size. It's it's basically just traded AC for health. Wow. Okay. Because that's because in the situation where it doesn't matter if the crab form takes damage. Because I don't, I'm not, I don't need to concentrate on it. No AC isn't a big deal. <laughs> what is the crab to a god? Oh god, thank god you have it because it rolled two twenty fours. So, 21 piercing damage. Alright. Yeah. 
Roll me a dexterity saving throw. Uh, hang on, I have to As a crab. I have to check what my crab. Okay. Your crab has uh, twenty nine thousand dexterity. Well. Plus. Super uh, okay. Uh, Not our proudest uh, moment, boys. Let me double check. Yeah, because that's the huge classification beyond large. So you're in luck. Am I too big for whatever it was about to do? <laughs> so, literally, as this mouth came lurching down. All you guys see Milliron vanish for a moment before crab, and just as its mouth just crushes into the top of the crustacean, biting it, but miraculously stopping Milliron from vanishing into its maw. That fate throw was right over there. That's just legendary action. I haven't even had a turn yet. <laughs> Miller. <laughs> All right. Thank God you have a fucking huge sized creature. As a crab, I can claw. Some zip. Wow, I'm oh. rolling like shit tonight. Jesus. So you go to pinch back, you like grab onto a tooth, it just like lurches away with its mouth, the many eyes like asphyxiating on multiple fucking meals on the field. This crab only has one attack. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, Omaz. Not very happy with uh, its current meal. Now too big to swallow in one bite. Uh, so you said you're 90 feet up, right, Iron Shred? Yeah, I was with Tilrath. Alrighty, so it's gonna ignore that and actually par partially burrow under. Come over to here. I don't like the slides. <laughs> and it's going to attempt to bite Bradamir, and it's going to tail sting the crab. What the fuck? It's using its tail. I'm a savage. Uh, and it will just meet yours, Bradamir, with an 18. Yep. There will be a dexterity saving throw. As you also take 23 piercing damage as it lambs its face into the ice, consuming you. And, God, oh fuck. Uh, and it will crit the crab with a tail stinger. Uh, make me a constitution saving throw, Miller. Alright. Alrighty. Thank God you managed to make the uh, con fucking. Finally, a decent roll. Because you will only take half of the poison damage, and so uh, okay. So obviously you got the twenty-three piercing Vladimir. I'll get to you in just a moment. As uh, the tail fucking just slams into the crab with a crit and does. <laughs> 39 piercing damage and uh, well reduced to 40 poison so that that would be half because it did 80 poison total crab still up boyo oh yes and that's a big crab and Bradamir yes <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh you no! Vanish and start tumbling down into the innards of this worm. 
this this that no, no. As the the moss slowly raises up, Radomir's gone. So, so not cash money. <laughs> no, he has dimension, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Iron Strike. Right, worry about me a little. Okay. Like a 5% worry. Okay. Good, I got 25 feet this way. I still got another 15 feet, so I move towards it. How, how far down is it right now? Uh, currently, you're 90 feet up right now? Yeah. Uh, its body is currently 35 out, so you would only have to... A good 55 feet to reach it. Oh, okay. I guess I can't reach it yet. So I move down towards it with a dash, I guess. You dash up to it? Dash up, get within range. Alrighty. Uh, with that. Uh, I assume that's all? Yeah, that's, that's just really all I can do at the moment. I'm just getting within range. Uh, especially since it refreshed one more. It's gonna turn around and try and now bite you, Iron Stride. Oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh Join fuck. me. Join me! <laughs> uh, and it will actually miss as it lurches forward trying to quickly bite at you. See the unnatural dexterity of this thing. Just... <sighs> As you can hear the wind whistle by, as you see one of the eyes like slowly follow you as it passes by. Coming for you, bitch. Radimir. I assume I take some sort of digestion damage. Uh, yes, you do. So, this is going to be an acid. Twenty-two. Yeah. All right. Dimension door. All right, so you go ahead and place yourself as you dimension door out, covered in bile. Gonna put myself. Sure, like just in the middle of the group, <laughs> behind the crab. All right. And for our bonus action, I'll give inspiration to Valus. Okay, um, being like in the ground, like, could Misky fail the same? What does that mean for her? Does she like have to climb out now? Uh, for her, she's 15 feet down, but especially since it burrowed over here, the walls are actually broken up and where she could attack it. I'm gonna move to the hood. And then shoot it with my uh, circlet of blast. So it's three attack. And I assume they all miss. Unfortunately, they do. As they just, doof, 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 doof. you can see, it's just like slowly shifting, and the tendrils just kind of like start lurching and trying to grab onto you as you keep blasting it with rays of fire. Yeah, they don't do anything with him. And I don't think I get a second attack if they... Uh, mm, that's a whole action. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, and, I don't know. I can't really do anything else, but I'm going to like start trying to help Misky out of the hole. Uh, that, she looks a little hurt from being dropped down on the razor ice, but... She's the... I'm okay! Ow! Ow! Ow!
it. And then I'm trying to remember if she has three or not. She shouldn't, she's not level eleven. That's true. So she will accident search. Since when did Misky have a whip? Uh since Underdark. Since Tardrin. Whip. She just starts slashing into the side of this worm with this heavy chain whip. Yeah, the other week she said she was going to start using her whip because everything was frost resistant over here. Their X does frost. Alrighty. So, with that. Uh, back at bone sanction, the second one. God. Oh, unfortunately, both of those doof, doof, off the massive high. I have a plus 11. How am I doing this poorly? By rolling nothing higher than a 6. <laughs> yeah, I rolled a bunch of 1s and 2s. Yeah, I know. But it's like my main feature here is doing damage, and I'm not doing it, which is just depressing. Well, I guess I end my turn. Milly, milly. Alright. Time to try and snip him again. Snip. There you go. Dude, look at my amazing spelling. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Bludgeon IGN. Bludgeon Ong. Nig. <laughs> you can't say that! <laughs> yeah. Bludgeon again. Alrighty, so you Bludgeon. clasp on to Omos. Grab on to him. God. Got him. That is actually going to tail spike you again. Especially now that you're clamped onto him. Uh, 17, I assume, will hit, since it's a lower AC. Yes. 17 would have hit the other one as well. Alright. Uh, go ahead and make me a uh, constitution safe throw. Alright, alright. Uh, uh, I thought next year I would have given it disadvantage. Oh, there you go. So, uh, 16 piercing and the it's 36, so just cut that in half. 16. And then it's going to. One more it's try. Good. Try to take a bite out of Iron Strike. <laughs> oh, sorry. Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> it's a good thing you dab. He missed. <laughs> uh, since I'm probably not going to use my reaction on anything else, I'm just going to sentinel it. I get to hit it if you oh, if oh, it's oh, There you fucking go, perfect. man. Dude, put a... Oh, huge damage. <laughs> put a divine smite. Divine smite it. Yeah, yeah, quick, put a divine uh, I don't know if I can do that on... Yeah, when it's not my turn. Reaction. No, it says you can just apply divine smite whenever you whenever attack. You, you can apply it whenever yeah, you Yeah, whenever you hit. Quick, credit with that, all your spell slots. What would that... How, it would how also would... double because it's rolled dice. You can. Just whenever you successfully hit, you can just slap it on. 
right well, now. <laughs> I'm not going to use my third level spell, so I'll do second level divine smite, which is some amount of damage. Probably 3d8. 2d8 and 1. General 68. For wear, finally. Iron Stride. I'm gonna get within range and stop beating its stupid looking fucking eyes in him. I think I'm next to it now after I dashed towards it earlier. Yes, you are. Excellent. I proceed to attempt to gouge its various stupid fucking eyes out. <laughs> Fuck you. And fuck you. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. And I will action surge. Let's do it again. <laughs> do it again. Doof. Doof. And then the great zone. Doof. Oh, damn. Casual hundred points of damage. Casual hundred, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm happy. I will, um, probably fly down to get within range of Captain Crab. Alright. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, flying down, getting range of Captain Crab. Yep. At this point, we're pretty mad. What we'll use is uh, probably will be last of set le legendary actions to try and nom you. Mm -hmm. With a natural 20. Roll me a dexterity saving throw. As this is only affecting me, add a plus 5 to whatever I roll here. So. Alright, so. 28. <laughs> As he slams down, it's just like this perfect following after just punching it repeatedly into the eyes. <laughs> and then just a <sighs> down at you. Bites into you for 16 piercing damage. Obviously, was this the a, crit negated. Was this a deck save? Oh, was this a deck save to take half damage? No, it was to avoid it's being swallowed. swallowed. Okay. And then, as you, like bites down and you move just enough to hold, hold on to these teeth as they bear down into you. To not that get so fucking strong right <laughs> To not get sucked up into the maw of this giant fucking creature. <laughs> How much uh, damage did I take, sir? Uh, 16 piercing. Welcome. Come at me. Bradamir. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work at all, but I'm going to try casting Hold Monster on it. Uh, wisdom I saving throw, I assume? Yeah. How big are your hands? <laughs> <laughs> not big enough. Uh, That's just a lot 17. 17. So, as it does this, you actually see it lock up? Yes! Oh. oh, dang. Okay, quick, Great everyone. Step. Ready your action to all hit it at once for mad crit. Why all at once? Yeah, it, it doesn't go away when you hit it. It makes it so you can throw up it's, it's attacked. No, it doesn't. Doesn't it? No. Lock it! The Beat the shit out of Beat the shit out of yeah. So it's <laughs> Auto crit. Yeah, auto crit if you hit it, and hitting it is advantage. I give inspiration to you. How much range? Woo! Yeah, that's a good One sec, just changing the curtain. Also, high key protects me at all costs. <laughs> Still need 
to get through the AC, but come on, I believe in you. Uh, bonus action to cars, branding smite, level two. Because that would also create one. Uh, 2d6. First one will hit. You have an inspiration. Doesn't hit. The nineteen does not, but you do have inspiration, like Brother Mary said. So obviously, push it over very easily to see using that. <laughs> well, good thing you had it. It's That's fun. all you needed. It was literally one. <laughs> Roll the. Who is that? Oh my god. And... That would be the branding smite there. How you wanna do this? Hey. hey. I mean it's it's too big to do anything fancy. Like I can't just say yeah, I cut it in half because it's like eighty feet wide. Rule of cool, man. You get to kill them both. You just use your whole the energy to extend the length of your capacity. Oh my god. Yeah, I do a Genos and I jam my sword into it and blast a huge wave of branding smite in it and it fucking shoots it out of its mouth and like crisps up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so as you guys just see, Vale's stupid figure and it's slamming the Holy Avenger into the side of this creature. You just see the radiant light erupting out of the mouth and just burning it from the inside out as it just slowly starts to disintegrate and just collapses entirely on top of the razor ice. And if this is anything like the giant sun speed fight in one punch, Genos exploding it from the inside didn't do anything and it's completely fine. <laughs> The big one's going to be like, that wasn't even my final form. Holy shit, we actually did it. Well, I help, I help Misky climb out of the hole, she's... Thank you! Okay, we're done, Miller, and you can stop being a crab now. <laughs> Miller is <laughs> slapping it. I'm going to get you. I'm going to snip you. <laughs> I crushed the crab. Oh, that was easy. I didn't even get hurt. Looks around, sees everyone. Who looks like at Radomir covered in digestive I'm like, I have for the first it. time, I'm like the only one not. This is wrong. I'm so fucking injured. You good, Brad? I mean, I, I can heal you if you want. I can heal myself. Don't worry. Hopefully, the giant's assault is going well. But, yeah, are we gonna go do something now, or, or can we short rest? Wait, this fight lasted for all of, like, 16 seconds. Yeah, sure. those are, like, three or four rounds. four seconds, it was three turns. I can't okay. remember. I can't yes. remember this is. Well, I'm sure Millerin wants to harvest every single thing possible out of it. So, we can wait here and see if the giants come back. Well, the Giants did say this was the only key that they were missing to winning, so I'm sure they'll be fine. So maybe you should just go help them, you know? As you are so discussing these out. matters, hear someone speaking a little further up north very angrily, echoing from up beneath the ice. Oh. Henrietta will never forgive me! You all need to die! Who the fuck? And so are you! From beneath the razor eyes. Oh! Walking oh. out of the worm's tunnel. Oh, okay. Another vampire. But this time, with her zombie frost giant guy. Well, please heal me, heal me now. And we will leave off there <laughs> until next week. Okay. Heal me, heal me now. Heal me now. Help, help, help. 
a chance to redeem myself onto something that has lower AC. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you didn't hit it once, did you? No, I did not. No, I did not. High AC, boys. I don't even know. It's the ultimate. The fuck out of that I have thing. a high chance to hit. <laughs> I know! Do it's, it. it's a coin flip for you, effectively. Yeah. And I kept getting tails. So Wrath and I almost can't miss. I mean, I definitely proved that I could. <laughs> <laughs> you have a plus 12. Yeah, so I have a